it's Addie, and today we are watching Blade Runner. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome. Today we are watching Blade Runner, and we have Harrison Ford, we have sci-fi, what's not to love? I will let you know that I am watching the final cut today, one, because this is the cut that it seems like everyone is recommending me right now. And then two, I did look up just the theatrical cut to rent or to stream, and I cannot find it anywhere. I am convinced that they, at least in the US, I'm convinced that they scrubbed it from the internet. They truly said no one will watch the theatrical cut ever again. It does seem like people tend to favor either the director's cut or the final cut. So let me know down below. I guess the differences between them. I am curious. I, since I'm watching the final cut, I won't necessarily know what I missed from the theatrical cut or I, I don't know the differences right now. So I am looking forward to finding out more from you guys of the differences between these cuts, I guess. But I'm definitely excited to get into this movie today. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe so we can watch more movies together. And let's get into Blade Runner. First, I was like, did it pause? Nope. Here we go. The red text on black. It's kind of intimidating. Early in the 21st century, Tyrell Corporation advanced robot evolution into the Nexus phase. Replicants were superior in strength and agility, and at least equal to in intelligence to the genetic engineers who created them. After a bloody mutiny, replicants were declared illegal on Earth under penalty of death. Several police squads. Blade Runner units had orders to shoot to kill. This was not called execution. It was called retirement. Okay. I'm really excited for this. I love sci-fi and I love Harrison Ford. Oh, 2019. Oh. I don't know if this was later remastered, but this looks amazing. Sit down. I'm kind of nervous when I take tests. I just please don't move. Okay. Noted. 1187 at Hunter Varser. That's the hotel. What? Where I live. You're in a desert, walking along in the sand when all of a sudden. Is this the test now? Yes. When all of a sudden you look what down. One? What? What desert? Oh. Oh, how specific do we need to get for you? <laughs> you look down and you see a tortoise, Leon. It's crawling towards you. Tortoise? You, you know what a turtle is? Same thing. <laughs> you reach down, you flip the tortoise over on its back, Leon. Do you make up these questions, Mr. Holden? Yeah, these, this is weird. <laughs> it's a weird test. The tortoise lays on its back, its belly baking in the hot sun, beating its legs, trying to turn itself over, but it can't. But you're not helping. What do you mean I'm not helping? Is this a test to see if he's a replicant? They're just questions, Leon. It's a test designed to provoke an emotional response. It is, it is kind of a weird test, though. Describe in single words only the good things that come into your mind. About your mother? Let me tell you about my mother. He did not tell you about his mother. Oh, wow. A new life awaits you in the off-world colony. Yeah, I'm curious if it was remastered for the final cut because the effects look amazing. Harrison Ford. Hey, here you are. As an Arkovich in Engambite. He say you under arrest, Mr. Decker. Why? He say you brave runner. Tell him I'm eating. Captain Brian Toka. Brian, huh? <laughs> let a man eat in peace. Okay, okay, at least they let him take his food. That's nice of them. Brian, you wouldn't have come if I just asked you to. I've got four skin jobs walking the streets. They jumped a shuttle off world, killed the crew and passengers. They found the shuttle drifting off the coast two weeks ago, so we know they're around. I don't work here anymore. Give it to Holden. He's good. I did. He can breathe okay, as long as nobody unplugs him. I need you, Dex. This is a bad one. The worst yet. He said there are four of them? No choice, huh? No choice, pal. They better be paying him well for this. I don't think I never had one of these. Oh, so he was Reaction a replicant. Time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. That's Leon. Uh, ammunition loader on an intergalactic Leon. run. He can lift 400 pound atomic loads all day and night. The only way you can hurt him is to kill him. Who is this? Roy Batty. Incept date 2016. Roy? Probably the leader. This is Zora. 
Don't She's worry, trained for an off-world kick murder squad. Chris, a basic pleasure Chris. model. They were designed to copy human beings in every way except their emotions. So they built in a fail-safe device for your lifespan. Now, there's a Nexus 6 over at the Tyrell Corporation. I want you to go put the machine on. And if the machine doesn't work? Let's hope it does. Oh, no. Oh, no. You don't seem very confident. Do you like our owl? It's artificial. Of course it is. Oh, interesting. I'm Rachel. Hi. Deckard. It seems you feel our work is not a benefit to the public. Replicants are like any other machine. They're either a benefit or a hazard. May I ask you a personal question? Depends on the personal question. Sure. Have you ever retired a human by mistake? Have you? Mr. Deckard, Dr. Eldon Terrell. I want to see it work on a person. I want to see a negative before I provide you with a positive. On you? Try her. Okay. I can't get over how stunning this movie is. I, I wasn't... I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be just a sci-fi action movie, but this is this is beautiful. All right, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Just relax and answer them as simply as you can. You're reading a magazine. You come across a full-page nude photo of a girl. Is this testing whether I'm a replicant or a lesbian, Mr. Deckard? <laughs> just answer the questions, please. You show it to your husband. He likes it so much, he hangs it on your bedroom wall. These questions. Would you step out for a few moments, Rachel? She's a replicant, isn't she? I'm impressed. She is? She doesn't know. She's beginning to suspect, I think. Wait, she doesn't know that she's a replicant? Rachel is an experiment, nothing more. She doesn't even know. So this was Leon's apartment? He wouldn't be here, would he? He wouldn't return. Never thought a, a fist could be so creepy. Ugh. Did you get your precious photos? Someone was there. Men? Mm -hmm. Police? Men? The photos are important to you? <laughs> oh. oh, when you say eye world, I thought, I assumed it was like glasses and contacts, not um actual eyes. Maybe I should have taken it literally. <laughs> You not come here. Illegal. Cold. Those are my eyes. Freezing. Uh. But is your hand going to be fine? They're replicants. Morphology. Is he going to freeze to death? I, I don't know such stuff. I just do eyes. <laughs> oh, he just does uh, He does the eyes. You Nexus, huh? I design your eyes. If only you could see what I've seen with your eyes. Questions. I don't know answers. Who does? Tyrell. Tyrell Corporation? Oh, I feel like they're gonna kill you. They're not gonna need you anymore. Sebastian? <laughs> he he take, take you there? Are you just gonna set an eye on him? <laughs> Where would we find this J.F. Sebastian? Let's continue. Uh, uh, he was just putting the eyeballs on his body. Ooh. The guy with the white or the blonde hair. I can't even pinpoint what it is exactly about him, but he is so creepy. I, I don't even know what it is, but he is, I don't know. He makes my heart race. Is anyone there? <gasps> Hi. I don't know why he told you what he did. Talk to him. He wouldn't see me. Hmm. Yeah, she must have so many questions about herself. You think I'm a replicant, don't you? He knows you're a replicant. It's me with my mother. Yeah? Those memories were just implanted? Implants. Those aren't your memories. They're somebody else's. That must be so hard to hear when she's truly thought that she was a human. I made a bad joke. You're not a replicant. Go home. She is, though. Oh, I mean, she has emotions. I mean, she's literally crying over this. This is wild. I love her coat, though. You're going through a lot right now, but you look great. Is this one of the replicants? He 
maybe you aren't so bad. You seem like you just want to survive. Unless you're hiding to kill this guy. No. No, you're just trying to survive. <laughs> hey, you forgot your bag. I'm lost. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. What's your name? Chris. My oh, this is Chris. Sebastian. Where were you going? Home? I don't have one. I'm hungry, Jaya. I got stuff inside. You want to come in? I was hoping you'd say that. They mentioned JF before, though. Oh, so maybe she is targeting him. I don't know. Maybe she tricked me. Maybe I was totally wrong about- I guess I was wrong about her. Ooh. Is building up by yourself. Oh, this yeah, place is creepy. I, pretty much alone right now. I would not want to live here alone. Nope. Must get lonely here, JF. Not really. I make friends. They're toys. Yeah, we, My we friends can tell. are toys. I make them. It's oh. a hobby. I'm a genetic designer. Do you know what that is? Oh, she knows exactly what that is. Home again, home again, diggity dick. Good evening, Dad. Evening, fellas. Hi. Oh, so you truly just make your friends. Interesting. Ooh, cool. You just scanned the photo. Enhance. Stop. Oh, oh, we can see a face. Whose face is this? Stop. Stop. This photo is so fancy! Is that a, a bruise on her face? What is that? I have to sneeze. <laughs> Bless me! Sorry, excuse me! Fish? I think it was manufactured locally. There is a maker serial number. Nine nine zero six nine. Not fish. Snake scale. Oh no, snake. Oh no, no, no. Are we gonna see snakes in this movie? My heart can't handle this. <laughs> Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Oh, he's wearing a snake around his neck. Okay. Mm. This is your work, huh? Who'd you sell it to? Love my Dr. Hughes is down in Park Sector, Chinatown. Okay. Guess we're going to another snake dealer. Maybe we're going to a different kind of snake dealer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. You ever buy snakes from the Egyptian, Taffy? All the time, pal. <laughs> All the time, pal. <laughs> Hello? Hello. I've had people walk out on me before, but not when I was being so charming. I'm in a bar here now, down in the fourth sector. You wanna come? Why don't you come on down here and have a drink? That's not my kind of place. Go someplace else. Oh, she hung up on you. Oh, you're gonna have to try harder than that. Excuse me, Miss Salome. Can I talk to you for a minute? I'm from the American Federation of Variety Artists. <laughs> this voice says. <laughs> I'm from the uh, Confidential Committee on Moral Abuses. There's been some reports that the management have been taking liberties with the artists in this place. Have you felt yourself to be exploited in any way? I just gotta hang the snake up. <laughs> I'd like to, to check your dressing room for holes. What you gonna find? Is this a real snake? Of course it's not real. You, you have to take one of its scales? Oh! <laughs> Oh, are you gonna kill him with that? Oh, you're just putting it on. Okay. I thought you were going to suffocate him. <laughs> oh, yeah, you still might kill him though. Oh. Hey, oh. oh, where did she go? Oh, it does help that she's wearing a very reflective jacket. Did you really lose her? Oh, no, she's right there. Ah, I didn't get her. Oh, that one did. I think. That's what it looks like. Woo. Oh, oh, all of the blood on the jacket. Oh, oh, you're just breaking through so much glass. Woo. I will say it's a cool costume to be shot in because you can see all of the blood. It's a cool effect.
I mean, it's it's gruesome, but it's cool. One more to go. Come on, Gav, let's go. Three. Wait, yeah. You said there There's were four three to go. at first. There's four. What? The, the, that skin job you VK the Tyrell Corporation. Rachel disappeared, vanished. So now he's to hunt her? I, mean, I don't think that's fair. I don't think she's dangerous. She didn't even know. Here she is. Leon, how old am I? I don't know. <laughs> how long do I live? Four years. So he just wants answers? More than you. Oh, oh no, he wants to kill you. Okay. Painful living fear, isn't it? <laughs> Wake up. Time to die. No. Oh my gosh, you. You're the one who did it. Also, right before she shot you, were you about to poke his eyes out? What was, what was, what was about to happen? Shakes. Me too. It's part of the business. I mean, she's having a very human response. I'm not in the business. I am the business. Poor thing. She didn't even know she was a replicant. What if I go north? I mean, they'll always try to find you. Disappear. Would you come after me? Hunt me? No. I owe you one. But somebody would. You know that void comp test of yours? Did you ever take that test yourself? Ooh. I mean, good question. You can play? I dropped music. I didn't know if I could play. I remember you can. lessons. I don't know if it's me or Terrell's niece. You play beautifully. Oh, he is. He, he's not gonna let you go. Say, so kiss me. Kiss me. I want to put your hands on me. I do love whenever he said, you play beautifully. It didn't seem like he cared whether it was if she actually could if, or if it was implanted memories. He likes you for you. I think she's gonna kill you. You just sniff his ear? How do I look? You look better. You look beautiful. Thanks. I'm just waiting for her to kill you. How old are you? 25. What's your problem? What? Methuselah syndrome. My glands, they roll too fast. Oh, well, that makes sense. I was like, you're, you're 25? Hi, Roy. Hi. Roy's here. This is my savior, J.F. Sebastian. Sebastian, you live here all by yourself, do you? Yes. So no one will hear you scream. Leon. What's going on? He's dead. There's only two of us now. Yeah, okay, yeah, because... The girl died, Leon died. It is just the two of them. Why are you staring at us, Sebastian? You're so different. You're so perfect. What generation are you? Nexus 6. Ah, I knew it. Because I do genetic design work for the Terrell Corporation. So he could tell. Show me something. Like what? Like anything. I think, Sebastian. Therefore, I am. <laughs> waiting for them to kill you, Sebastian. I don't know when it's going to happen. It might be right now. Ah. And that, that didn't burn her hands? We've got a lot not... in common. Similar problems. Accelerated decrepitude. If we don't find help soon, Pris hasn't got long to live. We can't allow that. Is he good? Your opponent? Oh, Dr. Terrell? I've only beaten him once in chess. He's a genius. Maybe he could help. I'd be happy to mention it to him. Better if I talk to him in person. Oh, they're not really giving you a choice, though. Will you help us? We need you, Sebastian. You're our best and only friend. Best and only friend. We're so happy you found us. I don't think there's another human being in the whole world who would have helped us. Ah! ah! He doesn't have any friends, and they're preying on that! They're taking advantage of that! A Mr. J.F. Sebastian. At this hour? You better come up, Sebastian. Oh, you're letting him in. Oh, you should not do this. I brought a friend. I'm surprised you didn't come here sooner. And the maker repair what he makes. Would you 
like to be modified. Yeah, something like that. What seems to be the problem? I want more life, father. Can you even reverse that? Is that even possible? You were made as well as we could make you. But not to last. The light that mm. burns twice as bright burns half as long. You have burned so very, very brightly, Roy. I've done questionable things. Also extraordinary things. Oh, he's gonna kill you. Yeah, he's gonna crush your skull. He's gonna crush your skull. He's gonna crush your skull. Ah! Oh, oh, through the eye. Through the eye. Ah! I don't like that. Ugh, ah, ah. Oh, it's still going. It's still going and it's still gushing out. Please don't show me what his face looks like right now. I don't want to know. Come. Sebastian feels betrayed. Come. Are you going to do that to Sebastian too? Body identified with Tyrell, it's a 25 year old male Caucasian. Name Sebastian, JF. Address, Bradbury Apartment. I want you to go down there and- Hello? Hi, is JF sir? This is Eddie, old friend of JF's. Ooh. And she's gone. Is, is someone gonna appear behind him? I don't know. The two replicants left are just so creepy that I just don't know what to expect with them. <laughs> Sebastian chose to live here. I I could not. I could not live here. Entirely too creepy. Oh no! 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 That's that. She's the replicant. She's going to jump out. I just don't know when! No, no. Please don't die. Please don't die, Harrison Ford. Please don't die. No, no, not the nose! Not the nose! Are you okay? Is your nose okay? Oh, you, you shot her. That, that was bloody. Here he is. Oh, oh, he moves so fast. Not very sporty to fire on an unarmed opponent. Oh, your body is your armor. You're fine. You're armed with nothing on you. I didn't necessarily expect that. Proud of yourself, your little man. No, no, no. This is for Zora. Ah! This is for Pris. Ah! I'm right here, but you've got to shoot straight. Ah! Straight doesn't seem to be good enough. Oh my gosh. I'm going to give you a few seconds before I come. Okay, I feel like this is kind of kind of turned into a horror movie a little bit. You gotta get out of here, buddy. Oh, oh we need that. I can see you. Congrats. No, 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 no. You better get it up. I'm gonna have to kill you. He's so creepy. He's so creepy. Six, seven. You could have just gone through that door <laughs> and you, you rammed your head through the wall. Oh my God. And now he's gonna join us. That hurt. Well, you broke his fingers, so. That was irrational. Even. Not to mention, unsportsmanlike. Where are you going? Away from you. Any, anywhere to be away from you. Harrison Ford, buddy! And 
Here he is. Here he is. You are so creepy. Are you gonna make it? Ooh. And he can't fully grip because of that one hand. <sighs> Interesting. And he made it. Are you going to push Harrison Ford off, off the building? Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it is to be a slave. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> You're not letting him fall? I'm not letting him fall. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. All those moments will be lost in time. Time to die. He's just going to let it. I mean, I guess there's nothing else he can do. He knew it was coming. Unless he's about to jump scare me. No, I guess he truly died. And his hand was starting to go. And that was the hand that ended up saving Deckard. Wow, he lived long enough to actually save Deckard? Wow, he saved Gentleman's Deckard. Job, sir. I guess you're through, huh? Finished. Too bad she won't live. But then again, who does? Ooh. Is she here? We know that she can sneak up on him. Who's, who's here? That last scene was already enough for me. My heart can't take much more. Rachel? That looks like hair. Is this Rachel's dead body? She's dead? Do you love oh, no. Me? Oh, no, she's alive. I love you. She was just napping? <laughs> He was here, he was here. He always leaves those around. Is that just his way of being like, I know. It's too bad she won't live. But then again, who does? That's how it ends? Oh my gosh. Wait, interesting. I do have, uh, I have some questions about the ending because I guess part of it, it could be that he was, kind of telling Deckard to go after her that like giving him permission permission I guess to enjoy the rest of how I guess however long she's going to live like just to enjoy that time together because I mean she's going to die but again we're all going to die but ooh but I don't know if like I imagine people would still end up coming for her at some point I don't know because she is a replicant and replicants are illegal and they're trying to hunt all of them down interesting I, I am planning on watching the sequel so I'm curious if it I mean I know Harrison Ford is older so I'm curious if it's just his life a few decades later or I, I'm just very curious to find out what happens in the sequel I enjoy this one so much I I really thought that this was a sci-fi action movie and there was action in it but i don't know it's 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 so different and it's so stylized and the use of the music and the light i don't know i, I think it just like sets itself apart from a lot of other sci-fi movies i mean the light was just beautiful and it they were able to play with shadows so much and just all of the hues in it like everything was a lot of the scenes were so blue and I don't know, it was so vibrant. And then just the feel of with all of the haze and all of the, it seemed like it was raining constantly. I don't know, like all of it just truly set such an interesting feel for the movie. And I think it just fit this movie so well. Also the music just really set the tone so well in this movie. I just feel like all of the elements were just done so well. And I, I just feel like everything in this movie, it just sets itself apart. It's just it's just beautiful. It's it's just a ma masterpiece, I feel. And I'm really excited to watch the sequel. I've just heard amazing things about that. And I really like the director of the sequel. So I'm, I don't know, I'm really excited to see what he does with it, especially because this one, I mean, again, this movie is just so beautiful and stylized. So I can't wait to see just what they do in the sequel. I, this one kind of, it surprised me. This one definitely just blew me away. And uh, the ending scene was was so <laughs> stressful and I was so worried for Deckard the whole time. And the the two replicants, Pris and Roy, I think it's Roy, they were just so unsettling and so creepy. But then at the end, 
I mean, I, I don't know. He He's so complex. I mean, ultimately, he just wanted to live longer. I mean, obviously, like all of that is so complex, but he was just trying to prolong his lifespan. And then at the end there, he, he knew he was dying. He ended up saving Deckard. I mean, what a complicated antagonist there. I mean, he was so creepy and unsettling, but in the end, I, I definitely kind of felt bad for them, especially like just knowing that they really don't have a choice in their life. I mean, he, I mean, he said himself, he's a slave and just knowing that they have such a short lifespan. I don't know. I don't know. The, all of it, it's very complicated and as unsettling and creepy as he was, I did end up feeling bad for him at the end. So that that's just, I don't know. All of this is just, just such an interesting concept. And this was so well done. I can't wait to watch the sequel. Well, this was Blade Runner. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.